that my um, straws are all glued on. Sit sideways like that. These are just some elastics that I had that were shaped like vehicles. Little people can just sit and they can explore the different shape, shapes while using their fine motor skills to try to stretch the elastic bands. These little elastic bands are actually black hair elastics. And if you wanted everything to be black and just the elastics to be colored, then you could use spray paint just to spray over all of the straws as well. So if you had some shapes that you could pre-draw and get some of the older kids to try to replicate them, there you go. And on the other side, this is for threading. Sometimes I find that little people, like the three-year-olds, they find that the, the lacing cards where they have to go up and down with the holes all around the outside, they end up wrapping them around the perimeter of it because they have a difficulty pulling it all the way up, especially if the string or the lace is long and pulling it all the way down through. So that kind of confuses them. So I thought that a good idea, these straws are nice and wide. They can use these. Actually, I've, this is a half of a shoelace I had left over from another activity. So this is what it would look like, like this. Just push it through. So they can go around the outside or they can go wherever they want. And these straw holes are nice and wide, so they're gonna have more success. And then the string won't tangle. So you can use yarn, whatever you want. Like I said, this is only half of a shoelace, so get some long shoelaces. These nice thick rubbery ones, or spongy ones, and they work well. And this is the same on the other side but you can use this more th for them just these if you have older kids and with supervision you have some paper clips see if you can get them to hold them in one hand and then try to manipulate just one and when successful put it in the straw Excellent fine motor activity. Or, if you have some marbles with supervision, you could also try to get them to balance them on top as well. See if they can get them all on there within a specific, specified period of time without knocking any over like that. Or, it doesn't really matter what you do with them. Another thing is to use some little pennies and try to get them to balance them on top. So, this little board is multi-purpose and inexpensive. Like I said, you don't have to use wood. You can also use some cardboard or paper plates or styrofoam plates or whatever you have at home. Use the back of an old um, cardboard box and cut her up and Bob's your uncle. It doesn't have to be a um, circular shape. It can be whatever shape you wish. And I thought about removing all of these, but I said, you know what? I'll let the kids do that. <laughs> there you go. Extra fine motor practice. So as an update, I tried these out with some of my students at Beastmart, and I let them do a variety of activities and I came to realize that the hot glue is not good enough to adhere the straw to the wood securely. So I had to take those back up, take off the straws, and now I use E6000. And when I was using the hot glue, I was just putting it inside the bottom of the straw. So it didn't have enough surface area either against the wood in order to have a solid connection. So what I ended up doing, and you'll see in this other video, I started to cut the straws at the bottom to make a flange joint. And using the E6000, it's a, very, it's a much slower process. You can't do it all at one time because the E6000, it takes over like 24 hours to dry. And then you also have to use it in a well-ventilated environment. So problem solved. I hope you've enjoyed this video and stay tuned for a lot more DIYs. Thanks for watching.